his everlasting grace. Hallelujah. We come to you right now, Lord God, saying thank you just for who you are. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for giving us another day. Hallelujah. We know from whence cometh our help. We know where the gift of life comes from. So we look to you and we say, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We lift your name up.
Good morning. Good morning. Your miracle is on the way. Oh, <laughs> 
be among the saints. They call me an ain't, but the Lord said I'm a saint. Amen. What a blessing it is to be in the house of the Lord. One more time. drink this morning. Oh, drink some holy water. Y'all uh, need to drink that all week long.
saying, Lord, do it. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Lord, have mercy. Thank God for a spirit-filled church. This is the church of Jesus Christ. The church that is still alive. Jesus died, but he rose with power. So y'all got power this morning. Now look, this is Holy Week. Friday, we've got seven preachers. Only two from the church. We've got seven visit, five visiting preachers, and two of the five are from Nigeria. They're pastors from Nigeria. Now, I don't know what we're going to get. But we will get the word of God. And so this Friday, I know y'all got dinner plans. Change the time of your dinner plans. Make it a little bit earlier. So you can come and support. Deacon McCall is saying the word. He just ain't been licensed yet. All right, Deacon, it's Thomas is saying the word. Yeah. She ain't been licensed yet. All right. But you know, she sneaks to preach. Yeah. And then we've got five other preachers from Harvard Divinity School. Now that young man that preached that Sunday is one of them. And so let's get ready. Now, I know y'all are going to think I'm losing my mind. Won't be the first time. And it won't be the last. But Jesus, before he went to the cross, washed his disciples' feet. And so this Thursday, the deacons don't even know this yet. This Thursday. And, and we have to pray about the deaconesses' feet. I wonder why I think I'm messing with their toes. Constant doesn't know it, but she's going to come and she's going to wash the deaconess's feet. So we're going to do this this Thursday. And, and we're doing it because that's what the Bible says. I'm not making this up. But if you are really going to be holy, as holy as you can, then this week you'll do what Jesus did. And so I'm calling all of y'all to prayer. I mean, I know those diggers are going to run and get them feet manicured. I know they are. <laughs> but, but this Thursday at 6, we'll meet here. And, uh, Somebody call Jonathan, tell Jonathan he's a deacon. He needs to be in six to get his feet washed too. I washed his feet many years when he was just a little bitty baby. It's different washing him now. He's a grown man and his kids will be watching. But that's what the Lord said to him. We did it before. This, this ain't the first time. I did it before. Andre, this will be the first time, don't, don't, don't get anxious. God says, be anxious for nothing.
But that's what the Lord would want us to do in this holy week. And uh, I thank God for just giving me the spirit of discernment to understand what the Lord is trying to say when he says it. And it's amazing when you do something that not normal as most Christians, you know, we've got normal Christians come to church, pray, sing, preach, and you go home. This is out of the normal. Uh, and Kiki, Brittany, Jay, and Jay, and 3J, and bring, bring them all. Bring, Ellie, Ellie, want to come dance? She can come dance. But uh, 6 o'clock this Thursday. And, uh, you wash your feet. You wash your feet. You're in the deaconess yet. <laughs> Just keep being holy. You'll get there. <laughs> Elders can wash your feet Thursday. <laughs> Don't hold your head down, T John, I see you. Look <laughs> up. But we're following what the Lord has set as a role model for us to do. Turn around, Sister Donna, listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to listen to me. She's, I'm losing her attention, so let me preach. Let me get to the word right now. I don't want to lose y'all's attention. I'm going to the book of John, the 12th chapter. Well, chapter in the, the book of John. Y'all are looking so good today. Lord have mercy. Twelfth chapter as found in the book of John. And I'll start reading at that twelfth verse. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him, and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found the young ass, sat there on, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold thy king cometh sitting on an ass's coat. These things understood not his disciples at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then remember they that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. The people therefore that was with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead bear record. For this cause the people also met him, for that they heard that he had done this miracle. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Don't, don't sit down yet. I want to go to the 21st chapter in the book of Matthew. The seventh verse. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them and brought the ass and the coat and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son of God. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Then I want to go over to the book of Luke. 
Luke 19. I want to look at verses 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And they that were sent went their way, and found even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the coat, the owners thereof said unto him, Why loose ye the coat? And they said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought the coat to Jesus, and cast their garments upon the coat, and they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing and the doing of his word. Amen. Matthew says, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the tree and strawed them in the way. I want to talk for just a few minutes from a subject title of Make Way for Jesus. Make way in your life for Jesus. Make way for Jesus. And they put the garments in the way. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I don't know about you. But I'm making way for Jesus. I'm making way for Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for this day. And I thank you, O oh God, for the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, for how you bless these, your people, on this holy day. I pray now, O oh God, that this word would go out and come back not void. That they would realize, Lord, that you are the way. And as we bring this word, Lord, I pray that you continue to be my strength, even right now, and my redeemer. In the name of Jesus we pray. Let the church say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. The Bible reads that on this next day, and it read on this next day because on the previous day they had a dinner with Jesus. Mary and Martha weren't complaining about who was doing what because they now understood their roles and their places in the gospel. The Bible teaches that at the table, Lazarus sat and had dinner with Jesus. The Lazarus that was dead for four days. The one that Jesus called back to life. And Lazarus stood. And as we look at this text, it says, the next day, The next day, they, they came and they cast garments upon the coat. They said, Jesus, they are, and he went, and they spread their clothes in the way. Matthew says that they, the great multitude spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches from trees and strawed them in the way. In other words, that they created a way for Jesus yeah. as he rolled into Jerusalem. That they were showing high honor to Jesus. Yeah. And they showed praise. You know when they do the Grammy Awards and they lay those red carpets yeah. or the Emmys and they, they lay those red carpets down that the stars might walk down those red carpets and that they're honored and, and folks are praising them. 
because they created a way for them. And when you really look at this text, they took palms. Yeah, yes, yeah. They did all they could do. They took palms and, and some even took their garments and they laid them in the way for Jesus. That Jesus might be all that God had created him to be. Yes, yes. So as we look at this text and as, as you think about they made a way for Jesus that, that in your life, that in your life, you need to make a way for Jesus. We take time for everything else. We make a way for everything else. We even have our priority list. But you need to make a way for Jesus in your life. Not every now and then, but every day. For the Lord is good all the time. And all the time, the Lord is good. And the Lord will make a way for you. Man, I look at this text, I'm not going to be long. Because y'all have already, I think you've phrased yourself out. <laughs> I'm not sure how much praise you got left in you. But the Bible says when you get weak, the Lord will be your strength. So I want y'all to just depend on Jesus for just a few minutes. First of all, as I look at this text, and I think about how they put their garments to make a way for Jesus. And I'm reminded that if you make way for Jesus, if you make way for Jesus in your life, Jesus will make a way for you. That if you give Jesus the time, that if you make way, I didn't say a way, I said make way for Jesus, then Jesus will make a way for you. Y'all ain't with me this morning. Jesus will make a way for you somehow. No matter what the situation. And the Bible says that when they heard Jesus was coming, that they started getting mentally ready for Jesus is coming. And they took uh, palm trees yeah. and they laid them in the way. Yeah. And they went forth. Yeah. But they heard that Jesus was coming. Yeah. You got to hear from the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you hear from the Lord. Yeah. You've got to make way for Jesus. And that means sometimes you got to put some folks aside. Yeah. Sometimes you got to put work aside. Sometimes even you have to put sponsors aside to make way for Jesus. Sometimes you even have to put your own self aside. You got to let go and to let God. You got to make way for Jesus and the Lord will bless you. The amazing thing about the text, they heard. They didn't even know Jesus. They just heard that Jesus was coming. And because they had heard about what he did with Lazarus, the Bible said they believed on Jesus. Because they had heard that Lazarus had died. And that Lazarus was dead for four days. But they also heard that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And so they had to come and see. I got to see. You know how folks are. I just, I just got to see. I got I to gotta, I gotta see. I just got to see if that's him. I got to see if that's him up in that book. I got to see him. I, I used to hang out with him. I, I used to go all over the place. We, we used to do things we shouldn't do. I got to see. I got to see. Because they heard Cole Pepper was preaching this morning. Just got to see. Got to see. They heard about the great things that Jesus had done. And I'm convinced the more you hear about Jesus, the more you study the word of God, the more you lift up prayer, the more you stand on the word of God, the more the Lord will bless you. They heard about Jesus. The more you study Jesus, the more he'll make a way for you. I know everybody's busy and I know you got things.
things you're trying to do. I know you're trying to keep food on your table and, yeah. and trying to keep a roof over your head. Yeah. Trying to keep shoes on your feet without holes in them. But you got to make way for Jesus. I know you're busy trying to raise young folks. But you got to make a way for Jesus. Because his grace will keep a roof over your head. His grace will keep shoes on your feet. Turn it in the name of Just take one second. To thank God. All the problems you don't have. Just thank God for all the problems you don't have. Thank God you're not in a food line. Thank God you're not sleeping on the bridge. Thank God you're not food in your refrigerator. Thank God you're not gas in your tank. Thank God you're not clothes on your back. Thank God you woke up with clothes in your right mind. Just thank God for all the problems you don't have. Jesus. Yeah, 
Jake and McCall. Just leave it a little bit for Friday. And that when you made the way for Jesus, yes, then you made the way for the Lord to bless you. The Bible says that when they went to me, when they made way for Jesus, they began to cry out, Hosea. They began to say, Bless is the King of Israel. That come into the name of the Lord. They said, Blessed is the name of the Lord. Blessed is the man that come in the name of the Lord. Blessed is that woman that come in the name of the Lord. Blessed is that child that come in the name of the Lord. Blessed is that drug addict that come in the name of the Lord. That come in the name of the Lord. Blessed is that prince that come in the name of the Lord. When you come in the name of the Lord, the Lord will bless you. When you come in the name of the Lord, then you got to praise the Lord and say, Hosanna.
pray that you keep these poems until next year. To remind you of how holy you are. That not just today, not just this week, not just this month, that all year long, that you're holy, that you walk holy, that you talk holy, that you think holy, that you pray holy, that you praise holy, that you give the Lord all that you do Him. Because He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. When Jesus came into Jerusalem, they were shouting hallelujah. They were saying glory. I love the Lord. Even if you have nothing, 
the Lord still wants to bless you with a part. And he'll make a way for you. kingdom, your kingdom, your heavenly kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And the people of God said, I love the Lord, love the Lord. for he loves a cheerful giver.